Oh my God, wow. This is the Middle Fork Canyon. I don't, I don't even know what to say, it's just amazing. <laughs> Salmon are running the upper Middle Fork Nooksack River for the first time in 60 years. That's thanks to a collaboration between federal agencies, the state of Washington, tribes, and local governments who came together to remove the only dam on the entire Nooksack River watershed. That's a big deal, but dam removals were only part of the story. Healthy fish populations need healthy watersheds, and healthy watersheds depend on healthy forests. There are precious few mature forests left in this stretch of the Middle Fork watershed. Most of them have already been cut. One such forest, it's literally right there. It's a forest that the state of Washington is planning to clear cut in the coming years. Yes, the same state of Washington that worked with partners to remove this dam. This is the Broke Down Palace timber sale. I'm about 500 yards above the dam removal site and the Department of Natural Resources, that's DNR, is planning to clear cut this forest in the next one to two years. This is a legacy forest. It's completely different than the tree plantations that blanket most of the Mount Baker foothills. Legacy forests have structural complexity and biodiversity. It has a wide variety of tree and shrub species. It also has large, medium, and small trees. There's also lots of fallen wood and snags, those dead standing trees, both of which are really important for wildlife habitat. It's a unique forest, and it's a great example of the kind of forest that's most resilient to climate impacts. That's why scientists are increasingly calling for the protection of these types of forests from clear-cut logging. That's not to say that all logging is the same. There's a bunch of different ways to manage a forest. And if you're interested in that nuance, check out our video on ecological forest management. Woo! <laughs> You may have noticed this entire timber sale is on a steep and unstable slope. Just below the timber sale, or about 200 feet from the boundary, is this actively eroding ravine. Clear cutting above this type of feature will do three things. It will remove the forest canopy that intercepts rainfall. It will remove the root network that stabilizes the soil. And it will increase the amount of water that loads this hill slope all of which increases the risks associated with landslides and sediment delivery down through the middle fork. Scientists are predicting that as the climate changes, we will experience more extreme rainfall events, which will mean more landslides, more sediment delivery. Now is exactly the time when we need to be proactively managing our forests for those climate impacts instead of making them worse. You might be asking, doesn't DNR have rules to prevent landslides? Yes, and it's also important to recognize DNR is one of the most responsible operators on the landscape. But frankly, the rules governing steep slope logging are insufficient. Scientists were consulted in the making of those rules, but ultimately they represent political compromises that achieve bare minimum protections. Just look across the valley at the timber lands that have been logged the last few years. I have no doubt that these timber sales were entirely compliant with the logging rules on the books. And yet, you don't have to be a geologist to recognize that these rules are insufficient at actually preventing landslides. Scientists have repeatedly shown that elevated sediment levels in our rivers and in our streams negatively affects fish in a variety of ways. And yet, clear-cut logging proposals on steep slopes like this continue to move forward. We've made significant progress over the last few years, but to actually recover the Nooksack salmon runs, we need to protect legacy forests like Broke Down Palace while they're still here. Contact Public Lands Commissioner Hillary Franz today and ask that the DNR protect the Broke Down Palace timber sale.